Hey guys, Mike here, and this is my Voltron. Now I know you guys have seen me do previous Voltrons, but last year I decided to sell all my Voltrons. But once I looked on my shelf, I said I need another Voltron. So the, here we are. Um, it's uh, a lot different from your average Voltron. The green line and red line, they do not have uh, joints. And they have four wheels, it seems. So let's jump right in. You do get this uh, chrome sword. It is very nice. It's, uh, it's got a lot of scratches and some discolorations, but it works just great. And it does say China on the side, which is awesome. And it's a highly, it's a highly detailed large sword. So let's jump into the figure. Now, I've actually had this figure maybe about five years ago. And the cool thing about it was the compartments for the, uh, the figures. And I'm going to show you if I can. Okay. This was very, a very loose figure. Um, it does have... The shooting fist, as you can see, and it also has a pod for little figures that were supposed to go in there, if you can see. I'll focus. So just little little green figures that would correspond to the actual lion, but they they did match, and underneath here. Let's see if you can see it. This is the WEP 84 to 1998 WEP. So, there we go. It does have the wheels, and I do not think it's a pullback mechanism in them. I'm not sure that it even works, but it is, uh, you know, it's it's not your average Voltron. There was another version I had, it was called a Sentinel Voltron, and it was basically the same look and feel of this figure, except this one actually does transform into the Lion's. So despite the uh, lack of joints in the red and green lines, it is a nicely, a nice detailed figure if I can keep it from falling over. Uh, the legs have these uh, little joint peg type design. And we can just transform them into lions now the black lion is not uh, is broken and I actually broke it by accident after unboxing it because it fell over after I transformed it and this does have missiles and the missiles do shoot shoot out which is pretty cool and the mouth does open and there's also space for a figure in the head so that's pretty cool it's not bad there are several of these type figures out there so that is the blue lion let me pan the camera down Right, we're gonna move on to the yellow lion. 
and it pops out. It's pretty solid. And the yellow line is just like the blue line as far as transforming. It has the wheels underneath. I'm not sure, yeah, this one. I'm not sure that the pullback mechanism is working. Tail comes out, head comes down. And this also has the compartment for a figure. And also the missile. The missile does come out and the missile does fire. And I do not want to lose it today. So we're going to put the yellow lion next to the blue lion. As you can see. So now we're moving on to the green lion. The green lion is my favorite lion. And again, it has the same type of, but it, it serves as the tail. And again, the compartment for the little figures goes at the top, which is pretty nice. And it does have a shooting fist. See if I can demo it for you. Woo, that was pretty good. All right. So the fists do work, and they're very solid. I love the green lion. It transforms very well. All plastic. This is not a die cast at all, and it is an original WEP. So we will set that lion right there. There we go. And the next lion. Now I actually broke this, and I, if you can see, I held it in tape. So as you can see, this is the red lion, and I'm not going to push it with this figure because I broke it. It was not the seller's fault, it was my fault. And there you go, it does have a red seat in it. But they had the corresponding colors for the seats. And that was uh, that was different, but it was still pretty cool. So let's close that up. And it did have collapsing. Uh, lion's ears to form Voltron and the black lion is is my one of my favorite lines too uh, the head came down like that and it also had a missile as you can see I do not want to lose my missiles to my figures and pretty much that's about it for loose joints and for the black lion oh, I'm sorry it pops down and there would be where you would put the little figure for the black lion in its chest so there we go that is my WEP Voltron and it looks a lot like my Sentinel Voltron because I miss my Voltron but my all time favorite screen accurate Voltron was the Voltron uh, Blazing Swords Voltron that I took multiple pictures on uh, Twitter and posted on Twitter that was my all time favorite figure um, that one was cartoon accurate in my honest opinion and if you ever do get that figure that is what I would consider cartoon accurate these other figures that are out here 
Um, oh no. It just, uh, the missile just shot off somewhere. So I will have to get that. Alright, so this one is ready to peg. I blew my end. And this one is going here. You know, if you're a Transformer fan like I am, to have Voltron is just like breathing air. You just got to have a Voltron if you, if, I'm sorry, you have to have a Voltron if you like Transformers. Because if you're a fan of Optimus Prime like I am, you really in, you, you you notice the intro voice is the the same voice for Optimus Prime and several characters in the in the show. So we're going to form Voltron. Going to form the legs. I'm going to just kind of like set them down in there. the joints on this figure are loose and that's not necessarily a bad thing let's get this in place okay Just snap it down in there there we go. Okay. And there we are. It's my Volt WEP eighty four to nineteen ninety eight Voltron. Let's get this arm pegged in here pretty yeah I had done a whole lot of thinking about my collection and thought I didn't need Voltron in my collection and I decided to To get this figure again because I I was missing my Voltron. There we go. Let's put the all important blazing sword in hand. And there we go. That's Blazing Sword Voltron. So as you can see, he comes with a nice sword. And I highly recommend him. Voltron. W-E-P. And again, thanks for watching. See you in the next video.